hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys it is either we are living on a parallel universe uh, to these people or this guy is a uh, trolling us or this guy is mentally unhinged guys i bring you this if i wasn't educated i will not be standing in front of you president buhari says as he appeals to kankara school boys to return to school so return to school now malam buhari is saying to this uh uh boys uh, i was going to say this rescued boys but they were not of course rescued they were uh, released uh, by their abductors uh so he's saying to these people now return to school and the example that he's citing is that if he was not educated he would not be standing in front of them so this is why i started off as i started that this guy must either be living on some sort of like a parallel universe or is trolling us or is mentally unhinged this is a guy this is a guy uh malam buhari that is this is a guy that we have been chasing around all of the four corners of nigeria since 2014 to produce a school sat even if it's one subject even if it's a uh, woodwork this is a guy that we have been uh, chasing around uh, the whole of the country to produce a school sat which is a minimum requirement of the nigerian constitution for somebody to be a president this is a guy that we have been chasing around to the point that the waek uh, chairperson had to then go to his uh office in Nassau Rock, that is Boris office in Nassau Rock, to pre present him with some sort of like a plaque which was some sort of like embarrassing photo opportunity thing I, I'm going to look for that photo actually and I will use it as part of this video just so you can see it uh, the, the thing got so intense during that period that the lead person of the uh, Waek, uh, whatever it is, I think it's still Waek had to go to uh, uh, Malam Buhari in a Aso Rock to present him with a ceremonial certificate because this guy was unable to uh, produce or provide his school cert. So this is now a guy now that says again, if I wasn't educated, I would not be standing in front of you. President Buhari says as he appeals to Kankara school boys to return to school. So now let's now see what sort of our madness uh, transpires here. President Mohamed Buhari has appealed to the rescued students of Government Science Secondary School in Kankara, Katsina State, to return to school. The president said this on Friday, December the 18th, when he met the 344 students at the banquet hall of the government house in Katsina State. Buhari, who disclosed that he became president of Nigeria by going to school, told the students to remain focused in pursuing their interest in acquiring a good education despite the misfortune of kidnapping. So here are his uh, words. If, uh, so he said, if I wasn't educated, I would not be standing here today in front of you. I schooled in Katsina for nine years. I moved on to join the army served as a governor head of state went to prison came out and later joined politics i contested presidential elections three times and finally i was declared a winner in 2015. my dear children don't be discouraged with what has happened give your attention to acquiring knowledge and developing good character and you will be distinguished in life I know that you have been through a lot. The suffering you went through, please put it aside and try to forget the painful experience. There is no substitute for a good education, so you must return to school and continue. Buhari also describes the unfortunate incident as a test of character and determination to succeed in life and added that the federal government would upgrade the security structure in the country to ensure everyone is safe so a lot to unpack and unpick there uh so good and bad actually in uh, what he said we have to be balanced uh in some uh, instances so of course first uh we completely disregard the opening uh salvo that if he wasn't educated 
uh, he would not uh, be standing in front of them uh, today, in front of the students today. Of course, Buhari is not educated. That is why he uh, runs away from a public discourse because he doesn't want to be interrogated because he knows that he's intellectually feeble. This is why he ran away from Atiku Abubakar, uh, the presidential debate in 2019. This is uh, why he ran away from a good luck uh, Jonathan. Uh, this was why he ran away from good luck Jonathan in 2015, the presidential debate there because of course the moment to subject this guy to even the mildest of interrogation he will crumble because he doesn't have the language skills and he doesn't have the intellectual rigor to contend and this is all linked of course with education so he doesn't have the educational grounding to be in the position that he is so an abject and a categorical lie that statement that he made to those boys uh, in fact is, is an example to those boys that you don't really need an education brute force and determination are the qualities that have propelled this guy to the position that he is because he is not at all qualified by any standard of measure to occupy that office that he occupies so that is the first part and really he he just dismissed that out of hand a categorical obfuscation of the facts a total in fact lie the opposite of uh, the situation is what he's describing to these uh, younger children but where he went on to say that there is no substitute uh, for education there's no substitution for ed education i categorically uh, agree with that because education not only does it give you knowledge it also gives you self-confidence because of course what everybody what most people actually use to try and intimidate is uh the idea that they have a superiority of mind and that superiority of mind is often interlinked with our educational grounding so if you are sufficiently uh, educated then it gives you the confidence to stand up uh, for your opinion and stand equal to any other opinion that runs uh, contrary to yours so a good grounding in education is always the first recommendation to any and everybody so i agree with him on that so i also agree with him that they should not give up these boys now should not give up as a result of this experience because they can either give up or use it as a character forming and using it as character forming might well even stand them in better stead uh, for the future so i agree uh with him on that he says my dear children don't be discouraged with what happened give your attention to uh acquiring knowledge and developing good character so i agree with all of that i mean there's nothing to disagree with in that and by the way of course we all know that these are not uh, malam buhari's words these are the words of afemi adesina uh, coming out of the mouth of malam buhari so i agree with him on that but where we i depart in its entirety uh from malam buhari is the last statement of this now rather uh incredulous uh, speech that is making to these boys and he goes on to say and added that the federal government would upgrade the security structure in the country to ensure that everybody is safe so he's not telling us that he will upgrade the security uh, structure in the country to ensure that everybody is safe thank you and thank you for now suddenly coming to this realization uh, five years into your tenure now with uh, three years left to go that oh perhaps if i upgrade the security structure everybody will be safer so what then did he not realize prior is it when uh, a fashion or his daughter was killed uh, traveling uh, to her own homestead by Fulani headsmen. He did not come to that realization uh, then. Uh, is it the beheading that we saw recently? He did not come to the realization then. The marauding and the raping and the endless killing in the uh, Middle Belt regions, he did not come to the realization then. But now suddenly, when his own children are uh, sorry, abducted from his own home state, right from under his feet, he has now suddenly come to the realization that uh, the uh, security structure of the country needed to be upgraded so if it's not coming to the realization that the security structure of the country needs to be upgraded then what's been happening to the uh, 
tens and tens of billions that is uh, dedicated to this exact same matter every single year since it came uh, into office. So because a, a good 15, 20 uh, billion, did I say million? Uh, if I did say million prior, then I meant billion, of course. Uh, a good uh, 15, 20 billion uh, dollars is dedicated to security and, and vastly more uh, every single year. So if all of this money is dedicated to security, if that is not then all of that money dedicated to uh, upgrading the security apparatus and structures of the country, then what is the money for? If uh, all these tens of billions that are budgeted to security every year are not being used to upgrade the uh, security a structure then where is the money going is it going to salaries are we saying it is 20 billion dollars to pay salaries for army uh, personnel in nigeria every year where, where is the money going to so an utter nonsense of course vacuous words and really is almost is is almost an act of cruelty completely disingenuous thing to say and whoever added that to the thing is just a total nonsense really every time that an incident happens within the nigerian space are uh, the things that you would hear well from a thoughts are thus uh, these people will be ar arrested and brought to justice the president have given the security chiefs they are matching orders so go fast forward two three weeks later another incident happens the uh People who perpetrated it will be brought to justice. The uh, president has given the security chiefs their matching orders. So he has been giving these people their matching orders pretty much since they came into office. But I think these people are too fat now to match or they've forgotten how to match that they've been that long out of uh, the parade ground. He will tell the uh, inspector general of police to relocate to uh, Bono State uh, to go and solve a problem that one would disregard him out of hand and go to uh dubai to be enjoying babes and this is just how the country runs a, a vegetative uh uh president of course who flits out of moments uh, of lucidity who flits rather into moments of lucidity because it's incoherent in most instances and it just has a uh, so like a uh, purple patches of lucidity this is now what we are contending with uh, within the nigerian space to the point that our no school sata president is both boasting about the virtues of an education come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section but before you come share those thoughts click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well uh because our data helps with the youtube algorithm once you've done all the clickings come join me then in the comment section come uh, tell me what you're making of this rather ludicrous uh, statement that is being credited to Malam Buhari. Of course, words are uh, written by uh, uh, Femi Additional, no doubt. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.